Hey, what's up? I'm Al Cox. I make games, play games, and everything in between. And today, we're going to be adding haptic feedback in my BuildBox 2 game, Snake Color Bump. Special thanks goes out to VR Playing Games who just released Park Tiny Cars. They actually sent me the step-by-step -step process on how to add haptic feedback in BuildBox 2. Download Park Tiny Cars. Haptic feedback is where the phone vibrates when something is happening in the game. Some people like it, some people don't like it. Step one, create a custom button enabled haptic and place it on your haptic button image screenshot attached. Okay, so let's just get some haptic images. I'm just gonna make one. Create a custom button name, enable haptic, and place it on your haptic button image. Screenshot attached in game settings. Let's take a look. Okay, we need to add a haptic button. Oh man, that's a nice button. <laughs> I feel like my button sucks now. Okay, whatever. I got a button, it's cool enough. Let's go to the main menu, haptic. You know what, I'm just gonna put it right there. The instructions dictate custom button. So let's go ahead and add navigation button. Here, enable haptic. Change the function to custom. Name enable haptic feedback, done, and place it on your haptic button image screenshot attached in game settings. I actually have my settings in the pause button. I'm gonna put it in the pause button and in the main menu button. Keep it here, stick to the edge. Unclick, stick to the edge. That stuff gets weird sometimes. Step two, now create another custom button on your game UI. Enable it in-game haptic. Place it behind your navigation or action button. Make sure you turned off block through touch and shut attached. Looks like we just create another button. Take this image and add it to all of my continue buttons. And most likely, game over. Enable block through touch. The continue button actually takes up the whole screen, so I'll need to make this as big as the screen. And now we do want to place this behind the continue button. So I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna go back to the game over menu and I want to make sure that this is behind the restart button. And you see it wasn't, so that could have been an issue. Even though they both have block through touch enabled, I'm just following the direction as best as possible. So let's go here, one above the continue button, and yeah, now it's gonna speed through all of these levels. This can be seen as a downside of no code is that you do have to do a lot more work. However, that's fine by me. It's just extra opportunity to be diligent and fully understanding that games take time, updates take time. Everyone is always looking for the fastest way. You must find what works best for you. Oh snap, I was not selecting. So I need to go through all these levels again and click block through touch. Because without that, the button doesn't work. Okay, let's save it. Oh my God, I should have saved it every five, 10 minutes. So fingers crossed it doesn't crash right now because that would not be cool. Cool, okay, change this version, update it. Okay, so everything is set up ac accordingly. Now, it's not clear to me how the haptic button goes from showing the haptic button to not showing the haptic button, you know, to on off for the haptic button. To me, I can test it on Park Tiny Cars, which does have haptic feedback. So haptic feedback is currently turned on, please so turn off. So I've turned it off and here I can see that it actually, there's no different button, but that's okay because what we really want is just a haptic feedback. If the UI is a little confusing, everything is saved. Let's go ahead and export this iOS. In Xcode, you have to go in and make all the updates. Let's review the documentation. Paste import uk.ht underneath import aggregator. So let's go here. 
integrator that H does not have uh, import integrator that H. So I think it's actually integrator that MM delegate that MM add integrator that M not H paste UI kit that H here done below add integrator that H. Okay, that part is complete. So here I need to copy this, just this part, not this and this. Go to did finish app delegate. Here you can see that this is where the return yes is. Go here and we paste that. And that is not right. I do not want the Boolean search in there. Just this line of code. Okay, perfect. No errors, great. Now we go to add integrator. Go to and replace avoid button active with, okay, so here we are going to copy and paste all this. Now notice the open bracket and the closed bracket. So the closed bracket actually begins up here or somewhere over here. So everything is copied. Now we go to find void button active with. Uh, here we go, void button active with. So I'm gonna grab the, the closing and this. Now I'm actually curious, I, I hope I labeled it is haptic. Cool, in-game haptic is named correctly. So we have gone through the steps and now we just need to upload everything. Let's go. AdMob is already set up. Change this to generic device. And now we archive. Fingers crossed. Great, now that that's done, the next step is to test it on my phone. Unfortunately, it looks like this setup is only for the iPhone. Tough break, Android. Pretty straightforward. All right, good news. It looks like the haptic feedback works. I'm not gonna lie, I thought it was gonna haptic feedback everything. The haptic feedback we set up was for all the buttons. Haptic feedback works, this is great. I think I might go in and move the button around to be in the pause button. I, I am super curious on how to enable haptic feedback within the game, specifically where your character bumps into another object. Things like this, you know, practical scenarios. And that would be cool if there was more documentation on that. I sometimes feel that when it comes to these kinds of documentations, it's some people know, some people don't know, a lot of it's kept secret. My thought is if someone is willing to share how to do these things, I will make a tutorial. This is that tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please like and subscribe. If you're gonna use this haptic feedback, leave a comment with the link to the game with the haptic feedback. Until then, I will see you next time.